This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, With dynamic subdivs, how can I fix the error? Mesh contains a number of edges that are shared by more than two polygons. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a model here loaded in. And let's say I want to take this model now, and I want to apply dynamic subdivisions to it. So I'd navigate over here to the tool palette, open up the geometry tab, open up the dynamic subdivision area here, and then I just come over and simply click dynamic. Now when I click dynamic on this model, you're gonna see that I'm going to get a error dialog that pops up. So this dialog is saying that the mesh contains 28 edges that are shared by more than two polygons. Now if I click this again, I'm also gonna get a second message that says mesh integrity test failed, please fix mesh and try again. So to resolve this error and allow me to use dynamic subdivision on this model here, I need to just run fix mesh. And fix mesh is located under the tool palette, in the geometry panel here, and then in the mesh integrity area. And in here you have two buttons. You have check mesh integrity and fix mesh. So if you click check mesh integrity, this is going to just analyze your mesh and I'm gonna get the same warning. So it's just gonna tell me that the mesh contains 28 edges that are shared by more than two polygons. And then the fix mesh button will take what ZBrush found in that check mesh and fix those issues. So if I come over here and just click fix mesh now, I'm going to get a dialog that pops up telling me that the mesh integrity test has completed successfully and the issues have now been resolved on this model. So now I can go back to the geometry tab here, I can open up the dynamic subdivision area, and now I can activate dynamic subdivision on this mesh here, and I'm not going to receive that error message. So the process again, if you get that dialog that pops up, is just go to the tool palette, go to geometry, open up the mesh integrity area here, and simply click fix mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.